moment I'll share my screen. Okay. So uh, the topic of my today's speech is hierarchical clustering approach for information extreme machine learning of hand brush processes. In recent decades, research interest in intelligent processes has grown significantly. Uh, processes is currently considered not only as a visual masking of damaged limbs, but as an opportunity to effectively compensate lost limb functions. High quality signal recognition is required for such systems. But in human computer interfaces, there is often a trade off between stability and variety of gestures. Increasing the alphabet of classes complicates recognition primarily by increasing the intersection in the space of recognition class features. Moreover, multidimensionality increases the set of features and causes errors in the recognition of movements from muscles of one local group. The explanation to this problem is that the increase in the set of recognition features makes it difficult to recognize signals from known discrete patterns. As an alternative solution to the problem of multidimensionality, we consider the so-called information extreme intelligent data analysis theory and technology, uh, which is based on a geometric approach to the construction of glass containers. The information extreme approach uh, based on formation of decision rules that is characterized by the adaptation to the input mathematical description of the system and maximizes the reliability of system and its recognition. In contrast to narrow similar systems, uh, such approach also is invariant to multidimensionality. In order to reduce the influence of class intersection and uh, in recognition feature space, uh, we propose the idea of clustering signals and uh, uh, decomposing the space of features into smaller subspaces, forming an agglomerative hierarchical structure. Uh, within the intellectual extreme information technology framework, the solution to the informa information synthesis problem of the control system for a hand limb prothesis is to maximize the information capacity of the system which determines the reliability of classification decisions. It's based on geometrical representation of data in multidimensional space and class parameters optimizing relatively to its pairs in that space. Thus, an optimization for machine learning algorithm proposed by div division of the feature spaces into subspaces. Recognition classes represented by matrices formed from UCI machine learning repository database signals. Structured vector realization of class consists of 3,000 recognition features equal to discrete values from bear signals recorded from electromyographic sensors. It's important to mention that several gestures performed by a similar muscle group and may highly intersect. On the first image, presented the vector of cylindric grass class, colored red. Superposing signals of all classes, we can see that signals differ greatly in modulation. And also there is possible situation of jamming some signals by others. Placing vectors on projections reinforces the need of structural information of feature spaces. According to class centers, calculated mid centers and distances form distance matrices. It allows us to form pairs of closest classes. Here we can see a categorical model of our machine learning system. It represents the data multitudes and methods applied to the multitudes. All data sets presented here as capital letters, and we may see all the process of machine learning. 
As a criterion for optimizing the parameters of machine learning of control system, we propose modified pullback measure, which is alternative to prior equal probable hypothesis. According to optimal geometric parameters of system decision rules, making specification decisions, in operation of the control system are created according to that criteria. Here we may see image that closes by greedy algorithm pair of classes form a meta cluster. Uh, it will represent this pair in future. The meta class receives the implementations of both classes as its own. The center of meta class becomes the average value of the center of its inner classes. The meta cluster will represent and replace this pair in the future and will be used possibly as the inner class for a larger meta cluster. Geometrical parameters of the recognition classes that reminded in the alphabet were similarly optimized. After the learning process, we may see the final hierarchical st structure. This, this is a scheme of partition of recognition class classes to form the agglomerative data structure for given alphabet and its meta clusters. As we see, all classes re received a pair, which is the closest to them. As a result of machine learning, we may analyze the table that shows that the classes first and second, fifth and meta class 10, class six and meta class seven form the optimal classifiers and the information measure reached the maximum value for the set of features. However, classes three and four show the raise low values for pullback test. So for meta classes eight and nine, the possible explanation to this is that the gestures are quite similar and differs very low, very small. Also, we may check graphs of dependence of criterion to ready of recognition classes. They show us that distribution of values has areas the plateau type, for which the determination of the optimal radius is the recognition for recognition of class containers was carried out by not only values of criterion, but also with the fusy compactness coefficient. Making conclusion, the average total probability of correct recognition of cognitive commons obtained by the results in the exam is equal to 082. Due to the significant similarity of movements, systems do not show a higher probability uh, on lateral and palmar grasp. In future works, it's necessary to consider the optimization of control tolerances, tolerances systems and maybe additional methods for processing bad signals. Moreover, it's necessary to pay attention to the parameters of bad signals processing, the influence of the signal noise levels and consider the uh, science informativeness assessment. The application of the obtained synthetic results for machine learning and the testing arm with a greater degree of freedom is associated with the need to increase the set of features by recording by signals in different parts of muscles. Also for gestures that involve similar group of muscles, the impossible influence from other muscle groups. Also, it's necessary to consider the impact of increasing the depth of machine learning, including the, the optimizing of control tol tolerances and recognition features. Obviously, it may involve some changes in hierarchical structure and the final form will be different. In addition, in future, it's necessary to pay attention to parameters of biosignals processing that may need some uh, more uh, normalization or different signal processing. I'll be glad to answer all your possible questions.
Uh, once again, maybe thank you very questions. much for your report. Yes, sorry, is my microphone problem? Um, <clears throat> any questions to to reporter? Who want to to ask questions? No questions. Yeah. Um, one question from me. Uh, in these conclusions, uh, you mentioned lateral and palmar grasp. What is it difference? Lateral palmar. Maybe uh, I had lost it. Uh, moment. Uh, similar on the scheme, it involves the similar gestures and similar fingers. Uh, so it differs very small in the um, electrograms of gestures. Mm -hmm. On the bottom level, on the scheme. Yes, yes, okay. Also better. Interesting. Thank you very much for your report. It's very interesting. It's look like very important for future development of this field. Any other questions to the reporter? No question. Then we can thank you for your, your report and ask for next who agreed to make a report for us. Anatoly Kargin, present. Yes, yes. Ready? I hear. Yes, I am ready. Please, are ready. please we all we ask are, you. We are ready. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Anatoly Kargin, and my co author is Tatiana Petrenko. Our report uh, was prepared at the Ukrainian State University of Railway Transport at the Department of Information Technology uh, at the Kharkov. First of all, let me show my presentation. Oh, sorry. I just, just minutes, I must, before, uh, open. No. Mm -hmm. Just minutes. Okay, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. no. Full ecran, I, I tried, no. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. In our report, we discuss how fuzzy logic system can be implemented. But uh, you can see, see, you can see my, no, no. No, not see. Oh, sorry, sorry. I uh, just, just, share your screen. No, yeah, yes, yes, just means, okay. And just now. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> Already. Thank, thank you, thank you. Uh, in our report, uh, we discuss how fuzzy logic system can be implemented to the real uh, time decision making by intelligence machines in complicated situation. By complicated situation, we mean processing of data from large number of sensor, non-deterministic, dynamic and potentially observable environment 
First of all, it is a large dimensionality of situation description. Function intelligence mentioned, you can see on this slide. The traditional automation approach cannot be used to create control systems that satisfy these conditions. They are trying to use artificial intelligence methods to solve this problem. Rule engine approach is most common of them, but fuzzy logic systems are not used. The main reason is that it is necessary to solve a problem of the large dimensional, as you can see on this slide. To overcome this problem, we propose a new model, which is based on the lot day conception from number to birds. First of all, this is two-stage processing. First, at first stage, rule, uh, ab sorry, abstraction engine implements abstraction from data. And on the second stage, fuzzy logic system engine implements fuzzy reasoning. The second problem of real-time control based on the process history and planning action we propose to be solved using short-term memory and long-term memory models. Footprint Blue algorithm creates the event sequences of the real-time in short-term memory and dynamic planning engine creates the plan of the action in real-time in long-term memory. The base of abstraction engine are two models. Internal meaning of the words is computational meaning of the data from sensor and the external meaning of the words is multi-level parameterized description by words. In the internal meaning of the words is uh, uh, in our models was represented by a large number and the certainty factor. And on the right side of the, uh, this slide, you can see our previous, previously paper where this model was introduced. Uh, the dynamic discrete flat vector field is taken as a numerical model of a short-term memory and a long-term mem memory. Two space fields constructed on history events axis and on plan steps axis, as you see here. The event history footprint are the current control decision time in presented by matrix. Certainty factor characterizes footprints of the process history, which is calculated as shown on this slide. The actual plan is represented by dynamic vector field two and as a on ordered sequences of actions in the form of a matrix, matrix where word describes the situation related with the plan stage. Dynamic planning engine, dynamic planning engine calculates certainty factor, characterizes the attainability of the goals show on this slide. So we got in the form of fuzzy characteristic of the meaning of the limited number of words, a description of the current situation, the historical data and the possibility to perform the next stage of the plan. Now, integration of fuzzy logic system with abstraction engine, short term memory and long term memory is achieved by unifying the representation of the input and output variables in the form of a certainty factor on this slide CF. In order to use the certainty factor in the form of input numerical variables of the fuzzy logic system, it is necessary to construct traditional linguistic variables on fuzzy rules and fuzzy rules on them. 
This slide show an example of traditional Mamdani fuzzy rules and uh, for uh, applied for one of the our uh, applications. And uh, the proposed model expands the capability of fuzzy logic system on the domain where it is required to make control decision in a forcing uncertain and dynamic situation on the large amount of data from sensor. This capability is supported by introducing three stage processing technology based on the integration of fuzzy logic system. Sorry. Fuzzy logic system with abstraction engine uh, and short term memory and long term memory. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any question from auditorium? Maybe I, please. Please. Uh, can you tell more about sensors? Sensors. What type of sensors are used? In our uh, application, it uh, we have at our department. We have. Sorry. Sorry. One second. In our application, sorry, excuse me, I phone off. In our application, we used uh, Polygon, which is created at the Department of Information Technology of uh, Railway Station, and um, as uh, uh, objects for trying, we used. Uh, uh, robots and uh, IoT, different IoT things, IoT fragment of things. Our, for example, uh, wheeled robot, which we used, uh, has uh, different kinds of sensor. Ultrasonic sensor for this distance, infra, infra, um, infra sensor uh, ref reflected. Uh, color, uh, web, web camera, uh, uh, accelerometer, uh, compass, and other sen sensor. It be more which, no, no, which. And uh, for example, IoT application, uh, we use the temperature, pressure light uh, and the uh, other sensor. Okay, thank you. Okay, other questions, maybe? Uh, give a practical example of using STM and uh, LTM, please. Okay. Okay, uh, short uh, short term memory. We, uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, for example, uh, ro routing maршрут routing of robots, uh, which we uh, tested, uh, consists of uh, consists of uh, 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 just minute. Uh, Mm, landmarks. Uh, for example, landmarks uh, names A, B, C, etc. And the uh, robot uh, must uh, move uh, along certainty routing. And uh, it, uh, when robot arrived at, uh, for example, uh, point uh, which have landmark A, uh, we must know what was previously маршрут, what uh, landmark was before this. And uh, short-term memory uh, for this time uh, consists uh, footprint of this footprint, uh, footprint of this uh, land of landmark which was before. Uh, and for the next, uh, for the long-term memory, 
Long-term memory uh, uh, include landmark which uh, planning to be in future. Uh, the next uh, land, landmark may be, uh, for example, F. The next for the F may be, for example, G, etc. And uh, so on. Uh, Long-term memory uh, consists the future plan of the uh, for robot moving. Thank you. Thank you. Certified. Okay. Any other questions? To Anatoly? No question. Thank you very much, Anatoly. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Um, yes. Then, who will next? Maybe Yuri Olinik. Uh, yes, I think uh, we are ready to present uh, our topic. So. Um, um, just uh, uh, Anna will be a reporter of uh, our article on the topic AKI signal processing based on linguistic chain uh, fuzzy sets. Uh, so we made it in, in memory of great professor Zayde, who is uh, the father of fuzzy cells. He wrote a book called Fuzzy Cells that started uh, all this uh, logic and all this uh, approach. So uh, why our topic is really relevant and uh, why we choose it. Uh, as you may know, SVD is the leading cause of death and uh, disability in the world. Uh, it kills almost 18 uh, million people every year. And that's a third of all deaths on the planet and a half of non-communicable disease uh, relevant deaths. Uh, however, uh, we know that 80% of premature heart attack and strokes can be pre pre prevented. And uh, that is why we try to prevent it and try to analyze EKG and find all uh, these uh, uh, abnormalities uh, in, uh, in future. Uh, so, as you know, uh, it's a great topic and a lot of papers uh, were published. Uh, uh, so the first one uh, was published even in 20th century, uh, but now uh, in this uh, topic, uh, some uh, neural networks is really popular and a lot of articles is about them, uh, but uh, in all of them we have uh, certain problems. Uh, we even may uh, name it challenges. So first of them, it uh, will be an even distribution of data between classes, which complicates it, the classification. So we have about 90% uh, of normal uh, EKG and uh, other one is uh, some abnormalities. And uh, next problem is the period and amplitude of electrocardiogram can depend on the age, health, status, gender, weight, and even the patient lifestyle. So it can be different, different in all people. So each of you have a different electrocardiogram and uh, that is why it's hard to uh, create some template for all of them. In, and uh, all machine, uh, when to record your EKG, have some noises uh, when pe person moves or even some um, errors while records. And it's the third problem, uh, the presences of noise. Uh, so, but now uh, use a lot of technologies so uh, all of them you can see now the screen. I think that uh, the most popular uh, is for this topic is convolutional neural network and recurrent neural network, long short, uh, and other ones. So you may see a lot of articles uh, in the internet about it. Uh, but we try a new approach. It's uh, linguistic uh, modeling so that can help us uh, to uh, locate um, more data, some template it and analyze. Uh, so all, uh, there are four steps of increasing modeling process. It's internalization, uh, it's distribution of values area, 
linguistic morphism building, uh, so create some alphabet, uh, generalization, linguistic change, and grammar restoration. So let's take a look of, at all of them. First uh, of them, it's intervalization. It's a classic dividing range value into internal sets. Uh, propose uh, restation intervals in the form of fuzzy nets uh, with uncertain membership function. So you can see now at the screen how it uh, can be done. Um, so let's now take a closer look at the set approach. Uh, so uh, the main purpose of it is splitting the interval on n sub intervals. Uh, firstly, it will be equivalent intervals. Uh, so it has like a three main rule. All uh, intervals are equivalent when uh, first uh, one is uh, okay. Uh, then equivalence interval uh, when a second uh, case, uh, case is okay. And uh, one more uh, on the probability distribution with distribution function f with the probability of filling elements of the theorems to the interval. So uh, there you can see probability when we can choose uh, the interval of uh, fuzz in the fuzzy set. Uh, the main components of fuzzy set approach is fuzzy logic function, fuzzy arithmetical fun function depends on fuzzy numbers, fuzzy inference functions, functions over fuzzy subsets, a uh, function of uh, fuzzy subsets with an infinite degree of affiliation. It's all fuzzy set approach. Uh, and uh, then we may present the algorithm of transformation method operation with fuzzy set approach. First of all, we split signal into intervals with uh, the same numbers of elements. Uh, then assign a symbol to each interval. Uh, and uh, then we have like uh, if statement, if is membership function maximum, yeah, if yes, uh, we convert element into a symbol. If no, we calculate the member uh, function into another interval. And so all of these intervals lead to letters or some symbols. Uh, in our example, we try to split it in English alphabet. Uh, and the result I will show you later. So it's horizontal division into five sets. You can see on the screen. Uh, so, and there is uh, like the most interesting part uh, where, when, when we provide example of splitting it. So as a result, you can see uh, some letters uh, that correspond to, uh, to numbers. Mm. So uh, efficiency research. This algorithm consists of three major steps. Finding the, the square difference between the intervals elements and the corresponding. Calculate of the average value of the whole series. Finding the square root of the mean. And uh, here we have algorithm of it. So we try uh, take data, data as uh, CSV file uh, of guess signals, uh, split data into hair bits. Uh, then uh, we have parallel uh, task. Uh, first of them, it's transform data using fuzzy sets, uh, perform reverse transformation to the numbers. And a second, transform data using structural methods method to perform a reverse transformation. And then we compare them by calculating the standard deviation and display the results. So here you can see our mathematical uh, average, percentage of standard deviation uh, in all the sets. Uh, so as you can see, uh, structural methods have uh, more uh, deviation. And uh, there is a result of it. Uh, and so uh, we can see that error of um, fuzzy sets is uh, lower than stru structural approach. So uh, let's conclude all that I talked about. The main step uh, for the algorithm of trans transformation method that's based on apparatus of fuzzy sets 
are the determination of the intervals with the same number of elements and the calculation of the membership function of each number of the signal to the intervals. And next, an experiment was performed using 52 character alphabet, as I showed previously. The output is a file with data on each fuzzy sets of 13 character and separate file on convolution of each segment of the input signal into a linguistic chain. Uh, so the average value of error of the method with apparatus of fuzzy set is 1.6 less than the structural method. So I think that's all um, that I wanted, want to present to you. Thank you for your attention. Any questions? Thank you very much. Please, questions to reporter. May I ask you? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, sure. I, unfortunately, I can't uh, see number of the slide uh, because could you show slide uh, uh, one of the first fuzzy uh, fuzzy cut? Yes. This one? Said. Yes, yes. Uh, the point three, you, I can see distributed function f you means membership function or it's really distribution function in uh, probabilistic uh, term uh, it's really distribution function because we need to have uh, like need to maximize it to perform Sorry, to choose excuse me but uh, fuzzy set approach and uh, you, you used term in, uh, term in distribution function. I mean, you uh, find you find the membership function using the statistic or no? Um, as, uh, as I remember, uh, no. So it's uh, more like a calculation of uh, like better uh, corresponding uh, each element into fuzzy set uh, into set so 